Hey, welcome to another Gridiron Studs Top Prospect Capsule. Today, we're going to take a look at the number one cornerback for the class of 2020, Kelly Ringo, out of Scottsdale, Arizona, and he attends Saguaro High School. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Saguaro High School out in Scottsdale, Arizona. If you're familiar with the prospect, then you know there are a lot of things there that would uh, make him a five-star prospect. And if you've listened to me, you know that a lot of this in terms of recruiting is projection. And uh, Seguro checks off, I mean, not Seguro, but Kili Ringo checks off a lot of the boxes, which is height, weight, and speed. Those are the three major ones. 6'2", 205 pounds, not easy to find at the high school level. And then he has the speed check, 1058 verified in the 100, 2144 in the 200. Those three things alone is enough to make a guy a top prospect in the country at the cornerback position. But I don't want to discount his play on the field, which uh, matches those numbers. So let's take a look at what he does. And before we jump into the film, just to let you know, a lot of the clips you're going to see here from him this season are from him playing offense. Uh, one of the reasons for that is, hey, he's good at it. He would probably be a top prospect as a running back, to be quite honest with you. Uh, the other factor is that when you're 6'2", 205, and you're highly recruited uh, at the college, uh, at the high school level, there are not going to be very many folks willing to send action your way through passes, runs, etc. So if you just stuck him out there at corner against, uh, you know, some of the guys that he's playing against, you're, uh, you're going to be probably just wasting a guy. Uh, so why not take this great athlete and put him also on offense and get full use of him um, as he is the best player on his team. So just telling you that in advance. So now let's take a look at some of the clips of Kali Ringo, the top cornerback prospect for the class of 2020. All right, first of all, we're on offense, handoff here, and uh, he's just a bully, spins off, knocks a guy down. We're going to see this one twice. It's the same play. Again, handoff, speed to get to the uh, – actually, this is a different clip. Hole there, he cuts it up, shows the speed, accelerates to the end zone. Doesn't look like much, but he has the speed to finish that off. And so you want to see that. This is the first clip again. I'm taking another look at it. Hands off, gets around the edge, spins off a guy, and then just kind of just shoves this guy out of the way. Weren't able to make the tackle. Here's him at cornerback. Speaking of being a bully, press man coverage just disposes of that corner of that wide receiver. Here's him at cornerback again, just kind of hanging back, baiting the quarterback into that throw, finishes the play, makes the interception. Has pretty good ball skills, and so he's able to do that here. Back on offense, handoff, another good hole, good blocking there, and accelerates through. Now, it doesn't look like much because there was a hole there, but again, it is a display of his speed. He's able to finish it off, accelerate through the end zone, not get caught, pull down, finishes the play with the touchdown. That's the 10-5-8 speed we talked about. Again, on offense, takes a handoff, goes wide here, looks for a seam, finds a seam, hits it, hits the sideline, and it's kind of all over. One-on-one -on -one with the defenders, no match, makes the cutback, and then he's going to beat everyone to the end zone. What you want to see out of your five-star prospect um, is domination at the high school level, and that's what we're getting here. Here's him at cornerback. We're going to see him make a tackle here. Comes off of his receiver and makes a tackle. Pretty crushing one, too, as this receiver doesn't really get up from that one. Um, he definitely is a guy that's going to make tackles, as you uh, will see on, on his film. Gets outside on this one on offense, and again, the speed to finish the play. Yes, was there good blocking, um, but he was able to get down the sidelines and score. Here's another clip at cornerback. A little lazy in his technique here, probably bored, um, but again, he's a man amongst boys, able to make the play. Quarterback foolishly threw it that way, and he's able to go up, make the catch, and then you see some of the running back skills as he gets a pretty nice return, and Drags guys into the end zone. He's a dominant force. Him on offense again. Outside zone. Sees the lane. Cuts it up. Speed. Vision. Gets it to the end zone. Like I said, he'd be a top running back prospect as well. But what you get to see here is his ability to run with the football and uh, use his speed. Again, not much by way of technique here. Just kind of hanging back. Probably baiting the throw, which he was successful in doing here. And then he goes up and he's an athlete. I'm just better than you. 
jumps up, uses his size and his athleticism to take the ball away. And then he turns into the running back that you see him um, playing in high school. So that's what you want to see at the college level. Will he get interceptions and then will he be able to do something with it? Another offensive play, gets outside, uses his speed, vision, and the cuts. You want to see the athleticism and then drags a couple guys into the end zone. Again, the speed to finish the play and get it into the end zone. Another offensive clip. A toss, why not? He gets it, finds a lane, cuts it up down the sidelines, uses his speed, and just kind of makes his way into the end zone. He is a man amongst boys, and again, with a five-star prospect in their senior year, you just want to see him dominating, as he will on this clip. Gets to the outside, hits the sidelines, outruns everyone to the end zone. So, you know, some of you may want to say, hey, he's not doing much there he's not playing against good competition well he's dominating that competition and again that's what you want to see big time prospects do as this as the clips start over again you're seeing the speed to the end zone so again Kelly Ringo checks off uh, what you want to see in five-star prospects height weight speed and then is it translating to the field and as you can see it is it'll get, things will get tougher with him uh, as he heads to college he is uh, right now forecasted to go be a Georgia Bulldog playing in the SEC. Uh, he also has offers from Texas and Alabama and Ohio State. So he's headed to play big time football in a tough conference. So things will get tougher. Uh, whatever staff gets him will probably have to break him out of some lazy habits that he has uh, picked up. And, you know, playing, it, playing high school football where he's the biggest and the baddest every time he steps on the field. That won't be the case. But there's no denying that he has what you can't coach, which once again, is height, weight, and speed. And as you can see, the young man can also play football. Hope you enjoyed this capsule. There'll be more to come if you're a college football.